fly cutter that I got right now for the Bridgeport. Just a little one. Uses just a um, piece of high speed steel in there. And you can see I got stuck out kind of forward. Of course I got kind of a short piece in there so I'm not getting a full bite on it. But stick it out that far it gets a lot of chatter. So I bought a bigger one. So hopefully this one doesn't does a lot better. Of course, you got different sizes. You got the little bar, medium, and big bar. Which that's that is a lot of stick out. I think it said it would go up to like 17 inches. And there's the head for it. It was expensive, very expensive, but hopefully it was worth the cost. Uh, something I don't understand is this one has these little, little catches here, but the other two don't have it, so I don't understand that. But either way, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna mount it up do some test cutting with it, see how it does. Now we're gonna try the medium length bar. I think it's like seven, eight inches long. Cool thing about it, it's got this little channel that the set screw set in so it can't slide out. Pretty cool. All right, we'll try it on this piece of aluminum here. Oh, look at that, almost perfect. Then I did include speeds and feeds for it. So we're going with the aluminum. Can't remember which one this is. If this is the coated or uncoated, or ceramic and uncoated. Can't remember, I have to look through. But we got total depth. Thousands or a tenth, and then five to one hundred, and top speed is it says eighteen to twenty eight, but it also says do not exceed twelve hundred on an unguarded machine, which is what this is. So we'll just go with. Uh, just 1200 which, which we'll start off at you know there's a little safety thing here you know 650 so we'll just start at that RPM which I got 660 so that's close so we'll start off at that and of course uh, feed rate if you remember on this machine my plaque on my uh, uh, feed drive is missing so I have no idea what speeds I'm going so we're just going to play that kind of by ear and 
Not a bad cup though, for dry. That is pretty acceptable. Not as smooth that time. That might be too fast. Of course, I'm doing it without lubricant, too. I'm going to move this out just a little bit, see if maybe we're a little back heavy. Maybe it'll help the uh, chatter. One other thing I know to do would be to tighten up the Gibbs. I don't really want to because they're kind of set in a good spot. So we will try it right there. But this is why we test run stuff, see what it does. Alright, we'll put it as far back as we can. see them lines in there not bad but not good either can't really tell if that's helping or hurting that having that uh, uh wd on there yeah i know we're trying a little faster Now this is the fastest speed on the low side. Still kind of chattery. It did get better on the thinner when it started thinning out. It did get smoother, but pretty rough where it was taking 20. Put on the uh, smaller bar. See how it does. Just for comparison. Uh, 
let's see how bad it is. Oh, that is horrible. Definitely a lot better with the uh, other bar. But uh, I guess we'll give it a shot, see what it does. it's not the best I mean there's definitely room for improvement but it is flat I mean there's still a little bit run your finger on there you can feel it I mean, it could definitely be a lot better I'm sure if after I play with it for a little bit it will be greatly improved but definitely speeding it up helped all right we got it flipped um, was able to use the medium length bar it will reach across there so we'll just stick with it and uh, see how she cuts That is a lot better. We got the piece down lower, more secure. Obviously, we didn't clean it up all the way, but of course, them marks are for when I backed over it. But that's got good finish. That is acceptable. I mean, there's a little bit of marking on it, but not bad. Of course, I'm making it all not shiny, but. That will work. All right, let's see how it works in the, what would be the balanced position. There's about an inch and a half, two inches more stick out. All right, I'm ready to stop it pretty quick. Uh, looks like it'll clear. Oh yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> oh my. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna switch this to a low gear. 
All right, there we go. That's 135. That ain't bad. Definitely have to play with it and find a balance point. Let's do it. Let's just go for broke. Let's put it way out there. I'll get in there. Alright. Sure, don't hit nothing. I get wood up there. Okay. Wait, wrong way. Yeah, that was my bad. <laughs> I did not think about that. Oops. Yeah, luckily no harm, no foul. Man, this thing's gonna shake itself to death. <laughs> okay, let's uh Yeah, that almost hits. I'd have, if I ever have to use it like this, I'd have to adjust this thing way out. The uh ram out. Alright, it's just uh right there maybe. And it does. Oh, wrong way. That's not bad on low speed. Which I think is the only way you could ever use this, honestly. Let's see what she does on the high speed, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's... Wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you'd only be able to use this on low speed. There's just no way. At least with my machine. I'm sure there's a machine somewhere out there that can maybe handle it, but holy cow. Um, maybe you could mill this out a little bit, reduce some weight, but man. Well, now we know. <laughs> uh, really have to use this on the low speed I don't know how well that would cut on the low speed so if you're going to buy one of these I would suggest getting the head and the whatever um, oh whatever that is I can't remember now what brain did uh, taper attachment whatever and I'd get the seven and a half. 
you'd probably save yourself a lot of money. And this would probably do everything you need it to. Like I said, even with this all the way in to where it's somewhat balanced, I would think it still shook. So, man, I just, uh, I don't see there any reason to have this one or the little, the small bar, just for balance reasons. So I'd definitely do that. I'd just get this bar, the medium length bar, which is like seven and a half, I think. And save yourself some money and don't buy this one or the little bar. All right, well, that was fun. Um, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.